for your children's uh, education. But but the vast majority of people now do use the student loan system and either pay it off at the end of it or the children pay it off over the course of their career. Mm-hmm. And um, thank you for that. And what about also the issue of paying down a mortgage? That's another big issue that retirees or pre-retirees are are grappling with. Do we use the low interest um, of a mortgage and pay it, you know, and pay it down, or keep that low rate um, and pay into a retirement fund of some sort? Yeah. yeah. Again, this is a very regular conversation that I have with my clients that. Uh, and, and I do understand that repaying a mortgage is ju- not just a, a, a financial decision, it's an emotional decision as well, to have that weight lifted from your shoulders and know that you own your property. Uh, but from a, from a purely financial point of view, when you can invest and, you, and uh, get growth of 5 to 6% in a you know, medium-risk portfolio, but your mortgage is only costing just below 2%, then it doesn't really make financial sense to, to focus everything on repaying the mortgage. Uh, I mean, certain, with with most financial planning, is a question of trying to keep all the plates spinning. Uh, <laughs> so r- rather than focusing on one target, then have a combination because the danger is you live in a house with no debt but don't have a pot of money that you can do anything with. Um, and equally, you could end up, if you, if you focus too much on building up a pot of money, you've still got the debt that you've got to service from that pot during retirement. So, so trying to do everything, um, as much as you can and have a long-term plan uh, is the best way of, of dealing with it. But um, it really depends on the individual and how they feel about the mortgage once you've had the conversation about um, the, the difference in growth rates and, and, uh, and interest rates. Mm-hmm. But you're quite right. I mean, they're incredibly low interest rates. It's very cheap money. Uh, and as long as it's secured on your property, um, I would err towards not um, trying to you know, solely focus on paying off your mortgage. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of long-term relationships, which, which of course is how you invest um, as a trusted advisor in your clients, mm-hmm. what about mm-hmm. the fact that we actually live in such volatile times? And of course, the UK right now is facing the whole issue of extraction from the European Union, the Brexit issue. So what impact is that? How is how are you finding yourself as a professional, but also with your clients, they're handling the emotional ups and downs of that situation where anything can happen yet? Well, well, I would say this, but good financial advice is always very important. Um, that the, the, the trouble, the, the other trouble we have is that the media now has to find stories to talk about for 24 hour news and, and the language that they use <laughs> Uh, does tend to be emotive and uh, using words like disaster and catastrophe when really, if you look at um, investments over time, they've always weathered these storms. The the principle we have when we're investing clients' money is to give it to companies that if if they use it wisely, they can grow their businesses over the medium to long term. We're not looking to take advantage of short-term volatility. We're, we're basically saying, if we give you some of our clients' money, what will you do with it? And if we believe that they will grow their business and make more profit uh, and therefore more money for our clients, then we'll, we'll let them have it to, to grow their business, which is why shares were introduced in the first place, to give companies the opportunity to take uh, money from uh, pros- prospectors uh, to inc- improve their business. So uh, the... The, the, the counselling that I give to my clients most of the time is, is to keep calm and carry on, which is a, 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 a very British Did you thing come up with that, Roy? <laughs> <laughs> if, if only I could have trademarked that, huh? <laughs> That's <laughs> but for sure. It, yeah, but it, it really is. That, that is the case. We've had, having said that, I ha- in the time I've been in the industry over 23 odd years now, uh, the volatility has increased. It's not just um, stock market volatility. The world has become a more volatile place because because of globalisation. Uh, so uh, I think the, the the volatility isn't to long term and and not try to pick the uh, the next big thing. Just um, you know, um, be very careful about where we we invest our money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Well, that's a but the sounds bre- like the sound advice. It is a big, is a very tricky issue at the moment because companies are finding it very difficult to invest uh, in their futures because they don't know what the rules are going to be. So 
the sooner it's sorted, the better, really. One way or the other. Yeah, one way or the other. That's true. That's true. Um, one last big question before we sort of have to do the wind down here. Um, with the onslaught of online investing where people can uh, either learn through courses or just jump on an, um, an investment platform and do trading, how is it that you manage to survive and build your business? You know, what do you bring to the party for your clients that they can't get doing it themselves online? Well, the industry has changed significantly over the last uh, 10 years. It's become a lot more professional. We, the, the, we recognize the threat from online business, but there will always be a place for people to get face-to-face -face advice. People will always need wealth management as opposed to uh, just straightforward investment. Uh, it has to be joined up wealth management so that uh, we look at things holistically. Uh, um, everybody's circumstances are different. So uh, the, the first issue is that everybody's circumstances are different and, and that uh, you know the products that are out there and the level of risk that people take needs to be considered uh, significantly. But, but also, people don't have time to find out everything about uh, an investment. There will, uh, there will always be people who think it's better to go online and, and find something that's cheaper, um, and that's fine, but there will always be other people who would rather be looked after and form a long-term relationship knowing that somebody is going to be with them, not only up to retirement, but all the way through retirement as well. And, and in fact, that's how we're planning our business now. I think uh, I mentioned to you the, the other day that my colleagues and I are, are – expanding our business and, and uh, two of my colleagues are retiring we're taking over their clients and, and it's we've been introduced to them over the over the last couple of years so there will just be a seamless transition so it it's it really is the the uh at the times when there's volatility and and when there is um downturns in the stock market that's when people need the most advice and, and we certainly don't seem to have a problem picking up any new clients Excellent. Good. Before we sign off here, Roy, how can people get in touch with you if they want you as their trusted advisor? Uh, it's probably best to, to go to our website, which is uh, cfswm.co.uk. Uh, and if you just uh, put in forward slash team, you'll see me uh, coming up first. Uh, but I think, as I mentioned, we are we will be ch changing that when we take over the new uh, um, clients. So, um, if, if anyone just wants to Google my name, um, Roy Brand Wealth Management, and I will come up. Fantastic, Roy. That's wonderful. So, in terms of uh, just wrapping up here, then, you used the term the other day when we were chatting about fading into retirement as opposed to, say, cold turkey. Could you talk about yes. those two different yeah. paths? Uh, yeah, it's becoming more popular now. If, you have, if you're in an occupation that will allow it rather than goes with that um, many people are now reducing the number of hours that they work down to maybe three days a week to start off with then two uh, the advantage there is that, that you don't have the culture shock immediately of, of uh, disappearing from society and disappearing from your your circle of work colleagues and friends uh, and you design another life outside of work um, so the transition is, is much more straightforward so phasing into retirement is becoming more popular uh, and also, you know, it's often been said, well, people often think that uh, as long as I've got enough money, I can retire. But actually, my, in my experience, as people approach it, they start to become concerned about what they're going to do in retirement because 65 is not old anymore. Uh, and 60, so as they, if they can phase into retirement over the three or four years uh, up to 70, uh, then they seem to have a much more enjoyable and uh, successful retirement. Well, that's true. And on the other end, of course, being at home full time, cold turkey is is a shock of uh, the relationship and <laughs> on the home front as well, right? <laughs> well, there's that, and also, you know, we we don't have the um, benefit of uh, Florida weather. So, uh, if you're at home and you've only got five or six hours of daylight during the winter, uh, it can be quite a depressing place to be. So, um, gradually phasing yourself into retirement and, and remaining useful to, to society, that's another very important point, uh, point about work. Uh, then uh, it just psychologically is a much healthier place to be. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Roy. Um, as we do use you and lean on you as our trusted financial advisor, I advise uh, others to, to look you up. And once again, the website is www.cf. 
swm.co.uk slash team, T-E-A-M, and you'll find Roy Brand there. Thank you, Roy, for being here with us today. I'm so grateful. My pleasure. Lovely to talk to you. Thank you. And thanks to our listeners as well. And of course, as always, to my producer, Joe. And I apologize to our listeners. We had a few sort of uh, uh, funny pauses um, in the ethers with our connection. But hopefully you can pick up the gist of all of Roy's wisdom and uh, take it from there. So wishing you a great week. And uh, do look up GameChangerThinking.com as well for what's going on there. And we'll look forward to speaking with you next week on Living Legacy Leadership. And do remember, the life you live is the legacy you leave. Bye now.